Hi everyone and welcome back to the course with everything you need to know to be successful when investing in the crypto market. And this is for you, our amazing YouTube subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe to get these weekly notifications when we release these videos. Because this is one video you do not want to miss. Because this video, we will actually show you the five steps every single strategy needs to contain for you to make money. It is crucial, there's no other way. So there are more, absolutely, but these are five major points, which is a great start. If you have these, you will make money with investing and trading, okay? So let's move over to the flip chart here. I'm gonna take you through these five steps. And I hope you're excited for this, because if you have these, if your strategy actually have these five steps, you will make money long term. Yes, you can make money if you're investing one, two, three years, but what happens when everything goes against you? And as you remember from my story, that happened to me as well. I've been through it, so I know. So I hope you guys are excited. So make sure you take a lot of notes here. So if we look at a strategy, right? A strategy, we need five things. So write that down. We need five parts. So the number one, you need to know where to enter, okay? And that might seem obvious, but there is a, a, a part to this which most people don't do. You need, to, you need to know where to enter, and this is the important word, before you enter. Before you even look at it, right? You look at the stock, and then you need to make a decision on where to enter, okay? So what most people do, right? What they do is, uh, is they just enter. They have the today strategy. So they enter. Well, why did you enter today? Well, I entered because, you know, I felt like it. I looked at the chart today. So that's the reason I entered. Which is terrible. Have this ever happened to you? Just when you enter, the market goes down. <laughs> and, that, and that's the case because you enter when it's really high. You're acting based on emotion. And write that down as well, that emotion is a killer of dreams when it comes to investing and trading, especially, well, in all markets, but especially in the crypto market. So make sure your strategy really has that in it, that you need to know what to do beforehand. Would you ever get into a car, for example? Well, A, without knowing how to drive. I guess you would not do that, right? You would take lessons first to know how, and that's exactly why, why you're here. So you're on that first one. But B as well, would you start driving without knowing the destination? Right? That would be crazy. Why would you drive without knowing where you were going? Would you drive without knowing your brakes were working? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing, and that is that most people do that in the crypto market every single day. We see it all the time. Right? And that's how I started as well. Because you don't know what to do. It's so easy to invest, but you need to have a strategy. So you need to know where to enter before you you um, you need to know where to enter before, right? Before you enter. You need to have that in place, which is why you need a strategy. And number two, you need to know where to exit. Alright, with guess we're gonna write a loss. You need to know where to exit with a loss. That is very important. So what most people do is they don't, they don't have a strategy for that. So what happens then is they, they're looking at the price go down, 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 but they don't know where to exit. They don't know where to, to, to take their losses. And we're going to go into a very important point a bit later. But for now, you need to know where to exit with a loss before you enter. You need to know that the brakes are working and when to use them as well. You need to have a strategy in place. So, what you need to do here is when you enter, beforehand you need to have decided how much money am I willing to lose and where do I place that stop loss. Alright, so when we're trading we always use a stop loss. So I know, I can sleep at night because I know beforehand exactly how much I'm going to lose, exactly how much I'm going to win. And yes, we're going to let our profits run, but I'm going to come to that as well. But the third point here is equally important and no one does this, no one. So you need to know where to exit with right, a profit. You need to know that as well, you need to know where to exit with a profit as well as with a loss. That is very, very important because what happens is you're looking at 
you're looking at the chart and it goes up, but you say, Dennis, I don't need to know that. I will know what to do when it goes up. I know when to sell. How can you know that? Let me ask you a question and comment below if you know the answer. How much can a crypto go up the most? How much? Is it 5%, 10? How about try this? How about 100,000%? It can go infinite, infinite amount. So what if you take your profit at a 20% profit because you, whoa, it's amazing. And 20% is really good. But what if it went up another 20%, another 100%? How do you sell? And your strategy needs to know, in your strategy, you need to know exactly when to sell. And that's what we do with cryptos. As it goes up, we have exact levels where we take profit, where we take profit. Marcus always calls it milking the cow, right? Moo, always milking the cow. So we need to take profits as it goes up. The last thing we want to do is to ride the bull market all the way to the top and then the bear market all the way down to the bottom. If you're not familiar with those two terms, make sure you go back in the course where we have gone through those as well. But just to mention it briefly, a bull market is when the market goes up. And a bear market when the market goes down, the crypto market. So if we go back to this, the fourth part we need to this is trade, all right, trade management. Very important. And what do I mean by trade management? Well, trade management is when you're in the trade, what do you do then? How do you, okay, so if it goes up a bit, when do you move your stop loss? When do you lock in some of that profit? If it goes down, well, how do you do it then? Do you enter another time? Do you sell with a loss? How do you do it? That's very, very important. You need to know that beforehand as well. And the last thing, which might be even the most important thing, I want you to really pay attention to this because this is actually really important. And that is the following. So if we look at this, this is, this is are you listening? I hope you're listening because this is very important. So this is the two golden rules. Now, you might wonder where those golden rules are, but that's how important they are. They're golden. So the first one is you need to cut your losses short. And the second one is you need to let your profits run. Okay? I, I can't tell you the importance of this. So just to give you an example. When we're trading cryptos, we're always risking 1% of our portfolio. That's cutting our losses short. All right, we're going to show you how to do that. But just think about it this way. If I'm risking, if I have an account with $10,000 and I'm risking 1%, I'm risking $100 on each and every trade. Okay. However, I'm risking 1%, but I'm trying to make at least three times as much. Which means if I'm risking 1%, I'm looking to make 1, 2, 3. So risking 100, making 1, 2, 300 on every single trade. And with cryptos, as we know, it can really go up a lot. So I think the best thing we had there was, I think, 25 to 1, which means I'm risking 100, but I made $2,500 because cryptos are very volatile which also means I can lose more than 50% of every single trade I'm taking and still make money. Does that make sense? Let's imagine I lose one, I lose 100. I lose two, I lose 200. I lose three, I lose 300. This is three different trades, but then I win one. How much do I win? Exactly, I win 300. So I don't need to win that many, but most people don't do this. Most people do not utilize the two golden rules. And we're going to have an entire video allocated to this so we can really go in and show you how it's done, okay? And how you can utilize this. So remember here, you need to know where to enter, exit with a loss, exit with a profit. You need to know the trade management. How do you move it? Move your stop loss and take profit. Well, especially a stop loss when you're in the trade. How do you act when you're investing, when you're trading? And then the two golden rules. So make sure you write these down and also make sure you have written down that you need to know that beforehand. That's what creates a strategy. So I really hope you did enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you like what you're seeing, press the like button, but more so subscribe so you get the weekly updates as well. And please comment below as well. What strategy are you using? 
are you taking a profit as we ride this bull market up or if we're in a bear market do you enter as it goes down what is your strategy is it set out before you enter because if you don't know it before you cannot make money long term so i really hope this was valuable to you okay and uh, please comment below i'm looking forward to hearing for you and please comment as well if there is additional videos you would like us to create that maybe we haven't thought of so comment below and we'll we'll be happy to assist you in your crypto journey so i'm see uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video